<clears throat> I'm Philip DeSalvo, owner operator here with my family, dad and Beth, and my two children, Ben and Isabella. And we own and operate Big D Ranch here in Center Ridge, Arkansas. We're roughly an hour north, northwest of Little Rock. <clears throat> uh, been here, I'm fifth generation, been here. Uh, been here for a long time. I think they come over in late 1800, 1890, somewhere in there. <clears throat> so we've been here for a while. Like I said, fifth generation here. Uh, obviously the ancestors did anything from hoeing cotton to grapes to everything else in between that they did to, to make a living coming up, milk cows. Uh, but always cattle was a part of it. <clears throat> uh, Dad was probably the first one to come full-time cattle operation, commercial cattle. So I've been in it since I was old enough to see, per se. Um, I was the first generation to bring in the, the registered seed stock, but we've had cattle the whole time. So the ultra black breed is something that's really struck home with us a long time ago, uh, when we was commercial setting only. Uh, blending Brangus type females and putting Angus bulls back on top of them just always raised a superior calf to anything else that we did. <clears throat> In 2006, the International Brangus Breeders Association decided to register that as an ultra black breed. You had to be 100% Brangus bred back to 100% Angus to be a registered animal, but we were some of the first ones to log animals into that book. It was a no-brainer for us. It fits our environment in the state of Arkansas, <clears throat> and they can go well beyond the, the outskirts of Arkansas and still thrive. Uh, one thing that we do here that brings the breed above and beyond is all the data collection that we've been doing for 30 years on the breed. And uh, we've got carcass data that outproduces any and all other breeds within our, with, even within our, their own breed. Uh, we, we've really focused on carcass and maternal traits. Pretty easy to, to focus on maternal traits because that's what the Brangus cattle are for. <clears throat> so all you're doing is influencing a little more carcass quality to them by influencing a little more Angus blood in there. The size of the operation, we run roughly four to 500 head of mama cows here. Uh, acreage is something that we fight the battle that everyone else does. Is you get limited and limited on on, re, on availability of, of land and cost is for someone our age, you know, just it's not always feasible to go out and buy a new farm type deal. So you have to work with what you got. We do things here that's a little unique compared to other operations, but at the end of the day, it's more about quality is what we focus on. So I don't I don't have to have the most numbers in the world. I just want to have the best cattle in the world. So that's what we focus on here. There's no hired help. We do every bit of it ourselves. So dad will be up before daylight. He'll be checking, see who this time of year, seeing who needs hay. When we're calving, he's typically the first one in the field to see if, if mama's got new babies and so on and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> but it's all, we all work together in that aspect. So any given day you can see Beth and she's ready to pull her hair out because she's trying to do all the computer work, plus help me whether we're feeding or we're branding cattle, making sure we get the right brands on the cattle. <clears throat> the kids, obviously they go to school, but anytime before school or after school, if we need help, they're right there with us. It's truly a family organization here. Uh, and as far as myself, it, I do all the day-to-day -day decisions on what needs to be done, but at the same time, I'm, I'm probably too much of an advocate because I believe in being out in front of people advocating for what the cattle industry in the state of Arkansas needs and represents. So I'm fifth generation ho hoping to set it down to the sixth generation and you know to tickle me and Beth is one day we get to watch the seventh generation and hopefully we're blessed with that oppor opportunity. Uh, but it's not necessarily growing in size. I don't have that ambition like a lot of people. I just want people to know if they want the best of the best this is where they come to.